Alright, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to paint BMX parts. Well, first of all, you're going to have to take your bars off, of course. Well, I'm painting my bars. So I'm taking, I'm going to take my bars off. You're going to have to sand down the bike part that you're painting. As you can tell, I already sanded mine down quite a bit, but I still have some work to do. Yeah, you don't want any old paint on it at all. I mean, if you have like a little bit, it's fine, but you want to get most of it off. What I use for to sand it down. I use the 60 grit sandpaper. It works really good. Anything. I mean, you can use the 80 grit too. But like 120 is already a lot. It'll be a lot harder. Alright, got my bars off. And I'll be right back. Alright, now what you're going to want to do. You have your sandpaper. I have most of mine off, but I still have a little bit of work to do. You're just going to want to get the sandpaper and rub it. I'm just going to take the paint off. See? Bam. Just keep rubbing it, and it will take it off easily, as long as you have like 60 grit or 80 grit. Alright, as you can see, I brought it down. I couldn't get everywhere. Like I couldn't get like in these little corners really good. But it should be fine. And I actually didn't even do it right here. Because there's really no point because even if it does like start chipping or whatever, it's um the grip's gonna be covering it like right here. Alright, well first I'll, I'll be right back with the prime. Here, if you really don't want it to chip then you're all you're definitely gonna have to use this stuff it's like primer and it comes in like white i think also but i just got this one and it works really good i repainted my forks with it and then and they're not shipping yet so that's just something and what you're gonna want to do is just paint them it's pretty simple Alright, well that's what it looks like after the first coat of primer. I mean, it's not the perfect paint job because I'm not professional or anything. It has some mess ups, but it's okay because whenever you actually start painting with your actual spray paint, you're going to use sandpaper in between to roughen it up so it's, there's no streaks or anything. Now I'm going to put my second coat of primer. It's mostly dry already, so primer dries really fast, by the way. So this is going to be my second coat. And after this, you'll want to start with your actual. Alright, there's my second coat of primer. After this, you're going to want to get your the color of your spray paint, which in my case is also gray, but it's like a different kind. I'll be right back and I'll show you guys. Alright, this is the kind of spray paint that I'm going to be using. It's the, it's actually like not normal spray paint. I actually thought this was the clear spray paint, but it wasn't. It was smoke gray. It's a really nice color, and it says it's gloss protective. So this is the stuff that I'm going to use, but I'm going to have to wait till the primer dries, and I'll be right back. Well, it started raining, so I had to switch spots. Anyway, after you get the two coats of primer, you dry it. After it dries, you get like a thin piece, piece of sandpaper, like probably like 200 grit, and just rub it around. So all the streaks and stuff goes away. And then you just paint. Alright. I'll be back. Alright, I'm done with my first coat of paint. It looks pretty nice already. 
But if you don't, if you want it to not chip, then you're gonna have to have at least like two coats, if not three. I'm probably just gonna put two coats because of this protective stuff, and then uh, and then you're gonna want to put gloss out on top of it to protect it even more. Alright, uh, that's the last coat of paint, and after this, I'll have to let it dry. And my paint dries for a really long time, so I'm gonna I'll be back in like an hour, and I'll put the gloss on. Alright, see you guys.